So I just wanted to go over this E90 uh, headlight while I had it apart and trying to fix a few things. Um, what's going to start happening, uh, if you haven't experienced it already, is the insulation on the wires is failing due to heat, age, and um, it's going to start causing errors inside the headlight, possibly uh, broken or blown bulbs too. So you can uh, take this headlight completely apart and um, try and uh, apply either heat shrink uh, by removing connectors and uh, sliding heat shrink over the existing wires or um, splicing in new sections of wire. You can also use uh, liquid electrical tape and paint uh, that on and uh, that might get you uh, a temporary semi-permanent fix. Um, <clears throat> but I thought this was a good opportunity to explain the way the headlight worked and some of the components inside it while it was apart. So this has been completely disassembled. Uh, I usually put them in an oven at 220 for about eight minutes uh, to pull off the uh, lens. There's a bolt right here that you need to take off before you, the lens can be removed um, and you access it from the back side. But this is uh, down in here. This is a stepper motor. Um, the stepper motor moves the xenon uh, light left and right if you have active uh, headlights. This under here is a uh, Hall effect sensor and uh, it's it uh, relays its position um, with this little metal arm that pivots with the headlight and uh, it tells the computer where the uh, headlight is. This is your up and down uh, I'm sorry this is your left and right um, adjustment manual adjustment and this connection point right here is the stepper motor that's uh, responsible for the up and down um, pivot of the headlight this right here uh, is the manual adjustment up and down uh, for the headlight this is your bi xenon there's uh, a little uh, solenoid under here uh, that operates uh, this flapper let's see if i can manually move it so uh, that's low beam and when you turn your high beam the, the shield moves down out of the way <clears throat> and the connection for that is from the back of the headlight i'll show you in a second all this harness uh, goes to two places, uh, this connection down here and uh, subsequently underneath here is your uh, stepper motor controller. So if you have um, your automatic headlight uh, faults, that's the controller uh, that um, is responsible for that. And then it goes uh, back to all the other parts of the harness go back here to this connector here, which connects to the car. This bulb here is your daytime running lamp. And then this is also the bulb for your uh, halo. Uh, this bulb here is your cornering light that comes on when you turn on the blinker or you turn the wheel when you have your automatic headlights on. Um, <clears throat> let's see. This uh, bulb right here is your bi-xenon bulb. This is your stepper motor that is controls the up and down and a little harness there. And that rod right there you see is the rod that has the manual adjuster. Um, let's see. That little metal part back there this with the circle is your solenoid that operates the... Uh, high beam uh, shield that moves up and down. 
and then you can also see the side view of your stepper motor. These stepper motors are different. They are not interchangeable. The way they mount to the headlight is different. So the um, chrome here that you have to remove uh, is vapor deposited chrome on plastic. It's extremely easy to distort the chrome, wipe the chrome off, or uh, change the finish of the chrome just by touching it. So you have to be super careful. And then when you're um, trying to remove the uh, chrome shields, um, you have to remove your halo first, uh, which has a tab right here and a tab right there and you have to pull it off uh, very carefully there's a screw right here as well that holds the halo on if you want to remove this entire projector assembly you have to remove um, this chrome uh, bezel so it's these eight screws or seven screws around the perimeter and then you just want to be super careful when you're pulling that out then to remove the projector assembly, this screw here, there's a screw back in here uh, that you can't super see, but, um, and then you got to remove this metal clip. And I just put a couple paint marks on it so that it would be easy to reassemble. And then um, once all the wiring is uh, unplugged, this whole assembly pulls out through the front of the headlight. And that's about uh, about it as far as uh, what's involved in this headlight. And um, this is the bi-xenon um, ballast if you need to replace that. But I uh, hope that covers some uh, information for you guys. And I'll be putting out a short or two on uh, recalibrating the uh, headlight with the scan tool that I have.